Hello everyone, I'm Mike Anderson from Collision Advice and this is my great friend Danny Gredenberg from the DEG. And we are so excited to be working with SCRS to bring you a brand new series of quick tips to help you to boost your business. Today we're going to talk about a new topic that we don't think about in the repair process, but actually in the front office. That's going to be documenting the customer communication and the authorization process. Mike, what do you Yeah, got? so this is something one of our viewers actually submitted to us and they said, you know, what are your thoughts on documenting conversations with people? Well, first of all, I think that if you have a management system and you don't have a document in there, it did not exist. I am not a fan of sticky notes. I walk into offices and people got sticky notes all over the place. If it's on a sticky note, that doesn't mean it happened. You need to have that documented in your management system. Now, there's different types of conversations and communication that take places between shops. Number one is communications with customers. Now listen, we know that uh, a lot of OEM manufacturers, a lot of insurance companies, they do what's called CSI or Customer Satisfaction Index Surveys, where they ask the customer, were you kept informed? Right? So at the end of the day, we want to document any and all conversation in our management system. Now, why do we want to do that? So that when we deliver the vehicle back to the customer, we can actually print out a summary of all those communications and we could show the customer and say, hey, we talked to you on this date, we texted you on this date, we emailed you on this date. Do you feel we did a good job of keeping you informed? And remind them of that, right? right. The second thing is documentation for any communication with a third party payer, right? Or it could be a vehicle owner, right? Whoever's got to authorize those repairs, especially if they're creating a delay, right? So we see that obviously some uh, third party payers, they, they re-inspect a vehicle in a pretty timely manner. Other ones are taking two or three weeks. So again, we want to make sure we document our files just to protect ourselves so we don't get accused or have to be, you know, have to like be asked to pay for a rental or something, right? So when it comes to communication, remember, if you've got a management system, you want to make sure it's got documented in that management system. And that's communication with anyone to protect yourself, but also when you deliver the vehicle back to the vehicle owner, we can say, this is what we did on this date, this time, this place. So there you have it, communications, don't delay, do it today. Thanks for joining us. If you find these tips helpful, please subscribe, like, and share, and comment below for any future suggestions. Thank you for watching.